hello, hello, hello. What a wonderful word. Hello? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the movie uh, Crazy People? It's with uh, Daryl Hannah and Dudley Moore, I think. Such a hilarious movie. And there is one crazy guy there who uh, only says the word hello. And that's the way he communi communicates. It's, he says hello in many different ways. Um, yeah, I think about that movie every time I say hello. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> Um, welcome to my channel, uh, my to my floss tube. I think it is uh, episode 18 by now and my channel is called Linda's 144 Hobbies and I'm Linda of course. Uh, 144 Hobbies. I think I could rename that uh, as to 144 Whips. <laughs> Um, today is a Monday, the 3rd of August. Uh, I was supposed to do the floss tube this weekend, but I had to work all week, uh, because there wasn't any other secretary who could go in and work. So I decided to just take the, the spot and I've made some notes, so I will look at that um, just to try to uh, oh, make the content a little bit uh, I don't know better I don't know like a red line thread throughout it um, so yeah I don't have any special day I release my floss tubes but I do try to keep it like in the weekend but after coming home after work, I thought that a walk with my husband and then cross stitching to reload the batteries for the next day was more important than recording and editing. So I hope you'll excuse me. The good thing about it is that you'll get two floss tubes this week <laughs> instead. So um, I noticed that I have uh, gotten uh, some comments and questions um, in my video, so I thought maybe I should start sharing them a little bit in the floss tube. Um, so I will start out with that. Um, let's see, I've gotten quite a few comments from a Lori Kilner. Um, she uh, she's stitching along uh, on my last stitch uh, stitch along or stitch and chat video, and she's stitching on a piece called Artisy Apple Harvest Bears, and she says it's full of confettis. I need to look up, look that one up, and take a look at what it is. And Lori wants to know uh, how to get a hard cover pattern uh, into like a PDF format so she can uh, use the chart like on the iPad. Um, and I've never tried this before myself so I can't um, answer for exactly how to do it. But um, Crafty Lisa is a British girl who um, has some great floss tubes and she has a great tutorial of how you um, get your hardcover patterns from like taking a picture of the hardcover. She talked like about the Mirabilias for example and then you make it into a PDF and then you can import that into a an app that um, 
handles the PDFs, so you can mark off the symbols there. Um, the tutorial she has is for iPads, and I don't have an iPad, so that is why I haven't uh, tried it, actually. Um, I tried to find the different apps she talks about in the tutorial, uh, but for me those apps cost money. Um, for the Android um, supported uh, surf pads. So I was like, well, uh, I'm fine with uh, copying, you know, making work copies and just uh, highlight the symbols with uh, a highlighter pen. So I haven't tried it, but I would really recommend her uh, floss tube overall, but also that tutorial. And I will link uh, the, the video uh, in my description just down below. Uh, Lori also wonders if the sulky threads uh, is uh, like a match to DMC and I asked her what what she meant with the matching uh, but I will like uh, I will try to answer it here as well uh, I am also using DMC uh, together with my sulky thread on my long dog sampler is pandemic. Uh, I'm using the DMC as uh, for the back stitching, and this is not my idea. It's uh, Handwork Maniac's um, idea. It's all on her, and she had some great idea about the sulky threads and the DMCs. So go check her video out. Um, so the DMC is a much thinner thread than the twelve. Um, weight sulky threads. Um, so I guess one strand of sulky thread is like two threads of DMC. And the sulky threads doesn't come in the uh, the color numbers like DMC. So I don't know if that's the answer to the question, uh, but um, yeah, and I will show you my long dog uh, later on when I show my whips. Um, so it was a nanny, nanny Ang, is that how you pronounce it? She asked a question and that was about the high count fabrics. If I had a problem, uh, you know, seeing the holes in the fabric, what would I do? And I think that's a great question. And I haven't thought about it so much because I don't think I will have a problem with it, but there might be a time in my life where I do get problems with it or maybe my eyes get tired. I know there's people out there out there who do have a problem um, with the high count fabrics. And I would say even like 25 count, some people have problems with. And when the time comes when, when it will be a problem, I will get either like a better light or like, uh, what do you call it? A magnifying glass. And I know there is like a lamp with a magnifier glass in it. I would start with that for sure. And I know that there are some magnifying glasses you can put on your glasses or something. I would try that as well. So I'm thinking uh, when watching floss tube, we have like stitchers with in all kinds of ages. And I'm thinking many of them are stitching 46 count, 56 count, and they can handle it. So I'm confident that it will work just fine. And while chatting with Nanny there, uh, she gave me the tip that Heaven and Earth Designs were having a sale and I hadn't received my newsletter when the sale started and I hadn't seen anything on Facebook. So I was like, what? I went over right away and it was a 50% sale. Oh my God. And I told myself the next time there is a sale on 50%, I'm getting at least two. And I got three patterns. So I'm going to show you that when I show you all. 
So thank you, Nan. I'm very pleased that you told me and don't be sorry that I started spending money because it was all my pleasure. So um, let's see. Um, we have uh, a Swedish stitcher called Cat Talks who has started uh, commenting on my floss tubes. And uh, yeah, I noticed that I forgot to finish my thought on the 09 problem that Heaven and Earth has had uh, when, I, when I edited my uh, whip and chat. I noticed that I cut, I had to, I had to leave in the middle of that subject. And when I got back, I had forgotten that I was talking about it. Uh, so I'm sorry. Uh, I, um, <clears throat> I emailed heaven and earth and asked them if they had just replaced the zero nine in once upon a fairy tale, the max color super sized pattern. If they had just replaced the zero nine with a 3371 or if they might have kind of recharted it and then maybe the zero nine would have been replaced with more brown colors. Um, I didn't know. Um, and the question I, or the answer I got from them was a little bit uh, vague. So I was like, well, it could mean, yes, we have just replaced the 09 with 3371, or they could have replaced it with two different brown colors. So I sat down, I pulled up the old uh, chart and the new recharted chart and they have just replaced 09 with the color 3371 right so before there were you needed seven skeins of 09 and six skeins of 3371 now you need 12 of the 3371 so i'm like also what you missed one skein because six plus seven is 13 and six plus six is 12 so i don't know but i'm considering my thought now is should i like replace all of the 3371 and just go and buy 12 or 13 skeins of that color and then use the old 3371 I have in my thread pack for another chart. But at the same time, I don't think if there is a slight color change, if I use the 3371 I have now in my thread pack, and when that is done, I go and get the other six gains because it's going to take me years and years and years to stitch the thing. So I will just leave it and no, I will not use the 09 because I don't like how uh, the pattern looks, especially it's in the, in the center where there is some, um, I don't know, if there's a door or something. I don't know, but you can see it very clearly when you are comparing the patterns and I don't like how it looks with the 09. So I will go with the new charted. And yes, someone said you could just, you know, replace the 30, uh, the 09 when you're editing the old pattern. Just replace it in Pattern Keeper. And yeah, I haven't, didn't think of that first. So now I've stitched quite a lot. Well, quite a lot. Some more on Once Upon a Fairy Tale in the new chart. So I'm now... I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it. It's going to work out fine. It's just like the first four pages of the pattern. It's going to work out. So we'll just leave it now. And I just have to say again, that the work heaven and earth is putting into recharging all these thousands of patterns and sending it out to everyone is just amazing. And I totally, totally love them. 
Um, and we have Trina Telford, another hockey fan. Not a Calgary fan though, but yay. <laughs> go, go hockey. <laughs> I love those comments as well, you know, yeah. It's, it's awesome. And Lorianne, Lorraine, maybe, Lorraine Perkins has also read all of Chris Carter's book. I've only read the first one, or listened to the first one. So that was uh, nice as well. Thank you all for the comments. And that's all for questions and comments. It was uh, nice to kind of, yeah, talk about it. So, um, and yeah. I love talking sometimes. It's amazing because I'm like the most quiet person ever. Yes. Mm. So now we're getting into whips, the fun part. <laughs> yeah. Or is haul more fun? It's a difficult one, you know. When people say in their floss tubes like, oh, I have a lot of haul, I'm like, ah, yes, it's gonna be so fun. Um, but we like whips. Yeah. So I have been working on my Mirabilia portrait of Veronica, my long dog sampler, uh, pandemic resistance training uh, from heaven and earth and once upon a fairy tale. Yes. That's the one I did the statue, the salon. So let's start with Mirabilia. <clears throat> I have the pattern stuck here so we don't want to show that nope so this is my progress and I am also going to try to start taking a like uh, a before or the beginning of the week picture and, and then a progress so you can you know see the difference but that means I need to edit even more <laughs> And uh, we'll see about that. But I know that I've stitched this thing here and this at least. I'm not sure if I don't, I don't think I've stitched anything here, but this is what I've done this week. And it looks in the viewfinder, it looks just amazing. And this is like just the beginning of the pattern. She's going to be huge. And I love the linen. It's a 32 count. Um, it's a 32 count. Uh, I don't know if it's Belfast or whatever. I have no idea. It's just a called for linen, which is in the, um, for the pattern. Yeah. And uh, the needle miter is from a store on Etsy. She has great needle minders with a very strong magnet. Um, beautiful stitching. I love, love, love my Mirabilias. And I don't feel I have to put in a lot of time to get progress. And uh, it's very easy stitching. And it's very nice, like after work, you have a couple of hours or even just one. And yeah, it's very nice and relaxing. So that's that. And then, um, yeah, portrait of her. And then uh, I bought the kit for her by Hawkins Hobbies. Perfect perfect online store they're just amazing and the service and the communication email wise is very 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 nice so if you live in the UK or Europe and you don't want to you know kit up the the mirrors yourself you know go to their site they have finished packages and they've helped me with the out of print uh, mirrors as well so it's worth it's worth it so <clears throat> let's move on my spinning wheel um, chose 
last weekend uh, the resistance training by Hans no now I'm going to say Hans Christian Andersen but that's not no his name is Chris Christiansen and I'm so bad at remembering his name and yep yeah, it was no uh, fun it was just black 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 and some more black this is 10 stitching on a 25 count no I'm lying this is 10 stitching on 28 count I'm using two threads over one and what I didn't notice was uh, that when I started this one years back I used a basket weave and I have no memory of doing that and I don't know how to do it I'm sure it's easy to learn through YouTube but so there is a slight mm, I can tell when I look at it where the basket basket weave is and where the other 10 stitching is so I would say that don't change the technique in the middle of it but I'm also like well this is never ever going to be finished so eh, I don't care I think you can see it here there's a line here right a vague line so everything up here to there there is basket weave and then it's just another way of 10 stitching so there's a difference so it's a page finish and when I was done with the page finish it took me like three days then I was like I'm finished <laughs> I'm finished stitching black background on 28 count I don't like it but as I say embrace the suck and that's what I'm doing so I said a page finish then it's done so that's why I decided to uh, when I all made the um, the stitch along or the stitch in chat I was like who's gonna want to see me stitch black background no no one so I decided to continue on once upon a fairy tale which is stitched on 25 count um, yeah the magic the easy guide fabric I don't like the easy guide it's, it's very I think it's very rough but I love the, the pre-gridded fabric so uh, but I got to stitch quite a lot I think one I finished one grid together with you so that's like 100 stitches I think I stitched 300 uh, more after that and it was not that hard it wasn't yeah there's confetti you know but uh, it, it, it was it was fine it was smooth you know it's with the pattern keeper and all you know I enjoyed it I was when I felt like well now at least I've done this uh, why did I jump over to something else oh no because then the weekend came and I was working yeah so um, I felt very I felt very happy and pleased about it and then I saw um, Tracy oh I forget her channel name Tracy's Croft stitching Tracy stitching and Croft I will also link her video down below um, she uh, is stitching the regular size I think and she has you know finished a great deal of the pa oh, picture it's so nice and you know it inspires me to to continue and especially when you get this nice feeling like yeah wow 100 stitches already done let's continue so I enjoyed it uh, I don't think I will stitch on it this week but very pleased so on I'm stitching it on 25 count one over one full cross 
and it's in heaven and earth. The designer is Amy Stewart, and she's in the uh, Amy Stewart uh, Heaven and Earth group on Facebook, and she's very interactive with uh, with the people there. So that's very nice. Um, yeah, that's that. So that was three whips. I have a fourth one. And that is my long dog sampler, the pandemic, which I'm stitching on 25 count. No, no. I'm stitching it on a 32 count, one sulky thread over two fabric threads. Whoa. It's gonna be huge, really. So I haven't like spent a lot of time on it. Uh, it's also a very nice project for me to just say, hey, I don't want to pull out my mirror or another head and all the fabrics and threads and whatever you need for it. Uh, and I'm like, it's Friday evening. I'm getting up tomorrow early. I have an hour or so. So I just grab my long dog and some sulky thread. And it goes very fast. So I like that. So uh, I think the last time I had stitched one of the birds. And I finished the bird. And I think there are rabbits or something down here. And then I went up and to the top here. I'm trying to get all the way to the left side of the pattern. Because then I want to go all the way up to the corner. And start stitching everything downwards. I like that better. Um, so there's a little rabbit there. It's very cute. And, uh, I'm like copying, I'm sorry, um, Handwork Maniac. Uh, I used a variegated thread. And then on all the animals, I'm using a solid sulky thread. So this rabbit is in brick. The color brick and the birds are in a darker red color and you see also the animals down here is in the brick so they're not showing as much as the birds um, so there's a mixture of animals in the pandemic but there's quite a few birds so i was like how can i mix all of the colors in there because now I've started I don't want to pull it out uh, so I think all the birds will be in the darker red and all the other animals and there are some people will be in the brick color so they will be more melted in to the variegated thread because the variegated thread is called brick red uh, so that brick color is in the variegated thread so but, uh, and then I wanted to show you, since, <clears throat> Laurie, you asked about the DMC. So now I need to have my, I have to see what I'm doing here. But if you can see here, let's see in there, the feather in the bird's hat is backstitching. Same with this, the, the circles. And then there's the... Uh, the stem here is also back. It's actually a long, a long stitch. Um, and I've done that in DMC. So I just found the max, the, the matching colors and used DMC for backstitching. And that looks amazing in my opinion. So this, uh, I'm sure I will kind of pull out and just stitch an hour or so. So that's the whips I have for the past week. And um, so I will continue to 
plans for the coming week and since mo it's Monday already. Uh, and I'm not going to spin the wheel this week because I was supposed to do it like Saturday. I have done it the other two times. So I felt like if I spin the wheel today, I only have a few days to work on the heaven and earth, whoever it will, whichever it will choose. So I did something different. I decided to, I'm almost embarrassed. I decided to start another heaven and earth. I had bought a floss body. I had bought the fabric from um, the gift card I got from Rachel Ray. Um, so, and I had gridded out the first part of the of that pattern. So I decided instead of spin, spinning the wheel, and I had started to preparing for the floss tube in the weekend. I was like, I'm not going to pull out the mirror or anything. I will just, I will just start the fantastic voyage. So that's the heaven and earth uh, design I'm working on this week. And I've already like put in over a thousand stitch in it, stitches in it. And I don't know how I did that um, because I have seriously been working all weekend, but I have. And uh, I think that's uh, a good progress for a week. So we'll see how much more I will work on it this week, but I will show you the progress or the start next floss tube. So that's the heaven and earth. I will continue a little bit on my mirror and maybe an hour or so on my long dog. But because I have received some haul, I am ready for another, another start. And I'm going to start today on Monday because uh, since I worked this weekend, I'm off today. So I'm going to start my first hands across the sea sampler uh, today. When I'm finished with this, I'm just, oh, I don't know how I'm going to, you know, start this and with the editing and everything. But I'm starting Jane Hearth. 1868 is one of the little gems uh, hats is providing. Uh, you can't buy it as a book, uh, you buy it as a PDF. So I've just printed it out for a working copy. And the colors in this uh, sampler is just amazing, really. Um, I was thinking, did they really have those colors in that time, you know? But I guess they did. Uh, it's it's so uh, it's very nice. I'm really looking forward to this, and I will add a link to Nicola Parkman's videos where she talks about this gem, and she she's so um, enthusiastic. I think you say when she talks about her samplers and the girls who have stitched the original sampler, and. It is my first reproducted sampler. So I'm very, very excited. I'm going to stitch it on 40 count. I'm using this uh, Swa Doll Share silks. And it's going to be an honor to an honor to 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 stitch what this girl has made. A long time ago. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm, I'm really scared as well because, um, yeah, this is like really traditional stuff. Um, it's just um, cross stitches, so there's no specialty stitches, and that's why I'm starting with this as well. And my hope is to. Uh, I hope I finish this within uh, August, September. I hope so. Uh, I'm going to do my best in a way because 
then there's a cell starting uh, uh, where we are celebrating traditional stitches anniversary I think it's 20 years uh, and they have a special edition from hats so uh, and there are specialty stitches in those and I think there are specialty stitches in many of the hats and I really really want to learn I think that's called more embroidery I guess um, so this is a start I'm starting it today yes and for that so now we're moving to hole right so for that sampler I've ordered um, it's a new castle linen 40 count and the color is sand this color is a very neutral color And for that, I got the so soy doll share. Oh, I mean, this is so shiny and bright. And I think the green looks very bright green, but uh, ah, I don't think it's going to focus that much on it. It's a little bit darker green, but the shine in this thread is just, look at that. Look here. And um, there were two colors missing. I ordered it from the Italian store, Casa Senina. So the two colors I'm missing are in um, back order. But I found um, that Fobbles, I think it's called, in the UK has them. So when I get to the colors... Um, and I haven't received it from Italy. I think I'm just going to order it from from there. But the thing is that if I'm going to order the threads from that from Fobbles, I want to get some patterns, and then you know the cost goes up. So I'm trying to to calm down a little bit. So that's fabric and threads for Jane Hart. Um. <clears throat> yeah so I went into some kind of a little of a, of a frenzy when it comes to the hands across the sea samplers and I'm like if I don't get all the patterns that I really really want maybe they get out of print and then it's going to be hard to get or Maybe I will have to like pay an overprice for them. So I've started to order the patterns that I want and I have gotten four of them. So one is Anton Unfid Unfindel, 1835. And this is so beautiful. There's a lot of specialty stitches and I think this one is quite big. But I just gotta have it. I mean, wow, <laughs> amazing. And then her sister's Isabella Unfindel, 1829. Sorry about the glare. <sighs> yeah, it's so, so, so beautiful. Really, seriously. And then we have, um, ah, let's wait. The years, this year's May, Queen of May. Mary Carter, 1712. I think it's called a band sampler, maybe, when, you know, everything is stitched in a row. And I love the colors in this. They're so bright and shiny, and there's plenty of, of specialty stitches in this one as well. It makes me feel like spring when I look at it. Very beautiful. Um... Uh, the Unfindel shards, they're a bit mushed. They, I got them from that it, store in Italy, Casa Senina. And Mary Carter, I bought from Hands Across the Sea. And together with Mary Carter, because they say that 
a pattern can't, you know, come alone. So you need to go and get two. And that's what I did. And the other one I just had to, had to, had to have was the Jane Fitz 1835. And there's a stitch along going on, but I'm not going to do that because there's also a lot of specialty stitches in this. Um, but it's really nice. These letters are just so stunning. And it's like, I have to. I have to, you know, I have to learn how to make the specialty stitches and stitch this. And the crazy thing I did was that I found the thread pack in a store in the States called Hoopen Frames, who also had an amazing customer service. And it took three days for the threads to come for the Jane Fitz. I'm not going to start stitching around, but I thought maybe it's a good idea to get the threads. And I was very curious of the, it's also a soy, what you call them? Yeah, it's the 103 um, Al, Al, Alvera Soy, Al, Alvera Soy, 103. Don't laugh at me because I can't pronounce, <laughs> but I got the thread pack. When I got this and I looked at them and <sighs> you see just the, the the shine is is nothing compared to DMC. Seriously, I, I just, I'm just I get so emotional. I was like, they're so beautiful. I could cry seriously. I and yeah, yeah. So this and they sent some uh, th uh, fabric samplers. It's a 38 count and. 45 count and I'm very glad they did because I was a bit scared about the 45 count but when I looked at it I was like this is not going to be a problem yeah it's not focusing yeah so very beautiful very beautiful I can't wait to gather the courage and start them <clears throat> And final haul. No, it's not the final. I will say it now before I forget because I'm gonna forget. I got three heaven or heaven and earth patterns, correct? Yes. I got a place of her own. I just got the regular uh pattern because um, the, t the detail in it and when you look at the crop it's just really amazing so why you know you don't need super size the max colors I don't so I got that and I bought responsible man no let's I will have to edit in I will edit in the picture of a place of her own here And maybe I should just make it big so you can see it all over the screen and just look at the beauty. And it's this guy, Christiansen, who's the artist. And now we're going back to the small picture. Okay. So the other one was Responsible Man and he's here. I just love this one and I cannot believe that I haven't bought this uh, one before. I mean, look at that little 
animal how what's the name in english the one he's holding in his hand let's just make this one big as well this is also christiansen yeah it's it's such a cool picture and it really <laughs> kind of picture how it is for working people you know and the carrot there in front of him yeah just love it <laughs> let's make it small again yeah so and we have a third pattern oh my god it w it's a new release and it's i talked about it in the stitch um uh, stitch and shad and it's called deliciosa it's an italian name uh, and I, th I think it means delicious she's here i mean look at this picture the artist is Yeah. Good question. It's a new artist for me. I haven't uh, bought any of them. Let's make it bigger here. Yeah. Um, I haven't bought any of her patterns before. Del, Delman, Del Park, Del. No, B B Land, B Land. It's it's a very strange uh, name. <laughs> um it is so beautiful and i've ordered a thread pack right away from uh, from bark at uh, cross stitch thread packs yeah i'm trying to make some cool stuff in my video if you haven't noticed <laughs> yeah so those are the heads i hate i bought and I'm starting Deliciosa the moment I get the thread pack. And when she sends the thread pack, I'm ordering fabric from one of the Swedish stores. And it's going to be 25 count. And it's not going to be a pre-gridded fabric because, yeah, as Tracy said, you know, I can grid this, the, the fabric myself and get a, a softer, nicer fabric that I like. And it's not going to be on white even weave. I'm going to get, um, I think there was beige or could it be sand? So I'm leaning a little bit towards that. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm ordering it once she sends the thread pack. So now the final haul, and that's fabric of the month from Crafty Kitten um, in England. Um, her name is Dawn, and this is the May uh, fabrics I've got. And uh, she is having a little bit of problems uh, with um, getting. Uh, fabric to dye uh, because I, I think she's ordering it from overseas or something I don't know and we all know the situation we're in so she's a little bit behind but I finally got them and they are so beautiful I have gotten the 28 count before and I think last time it was 28 linen and now I changed it to 32 count linen because this is mainly for my mirabilias and uh, I really like to stitch on it. They're beautiful. And it's not going to show up on the camera. Uh, I don't know if I should, you know, I think this is the color over here. So it's, it's called uh, Just Peachy. Just Peachy, yeah. And uh, it's a 22 by 27 uh, inch. Belfast linen, 32 count, as I said, and she searched them as well. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, it's not a variegated um, count, but 
I mean, one of the ladies would be really nice on this, for sure. Yeah, maybe like the Sun Queen. Hmm? Because first when I saw it, I saw it, I was like, eh, that was not so much fun. But uh, yeah, I think I like this very much because I'm starting to think that, you know, it's okay to stitch the Mirabilias on a bit more, you know, not boring, but a more, a more neutral colored background. Because if you have too much going on in the background, I'm afraid that you lose the beauty of the mirror. I don't know it's just a theory but so it's nice and then we have this not so neutral but wow I mean seriously so this is the limited edition from May she did a great job on this one mm-hmm yes and yeah i don't know could a mermaid be good on this maybe or yeah one of the ladies <laughs> yeah so i'm hoping that i will get my fabric I, I special ordered a fabric for the gypsy queen so i'm really hoping that uh, she'll be able to dye that and send with the uh, fabric of the month fabrics for June. Yes. What's that? No, May. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, I joined virtual stitches stitchers on Facebook. And I joined, joined, I entered the Zoom room, but I was alone. I was there for an hour and no one else popped in. Uh, so I guess maybe you need to join the Zoom meetings when there's an, an event, maybe, to, you know, make sure that you will meet other people there. Um, the small problem with it is that the event starts at like 12 in the night central time in the states and that would be like six seven in the morning for me and um it well it's not possible when i'm working maybe a weekend maybe um so we'll see how that will work out um i joined the group whipgo and it sounds like real fun. I could join the Whipco now just for the rest of the year, but since I made my spinning wheel, I think I will stick to that for the rest of the year. And if they do a Whipco 2021, I think I'm going to join that. And I will then, as I'm thinking now, I'm going to join with Heaven and Earth designs that I have. I will not start any new next year. I cannot start any more Heaven and Earth. And I will pick out 10 of all my whips and have them on the whip go and to get more progress on them. Yes. I mean, it's nice to finish a page, but um, it's nice to... I looked at my world travel bookshelf the other day and I... I looked how I wonder how much this is actually and it's like eight pages and I'm like wow I have actually stitched eight pages of the world travel bookshelf so that's kind of cool really um, and uh, that would be nice to have eight pages of like the once upon a fairy tale or you know uh, fantastic voyage or you know yeah um, so that's that and yeah i joined the cell for the new stitch along with uh, hands across the sea and traditional stitchers the store in canada also an amazing store seriously i mean such great service i think they're up to their neck with stuff to do and everything that's going on and causing delays you know 
Um, the only thing I don't like is that you don't pay for your order right away. Uh, you pay once it's going to be shipped. And since there is such a big delay, I don't like to like hold that amount of money. I, I would like to just pay for it. And if it turns out that you have to pay a little bit more for shipping or you know, there's things that is totally out of stock or you can't, they won't be able to get it. Then, you know, you could either choose something else or get that part of the money back. That's me, uh, but that's the way they work and I will just have to deal with it. I still think it's a great store. They have, I mean, everything. It's so cool that you can choose the pattern and then you can choose thread packs and the fabric and everything so it's very nice and they always answer the emails and so yeah it's very sad that they are not here <laughs> in Europe or that I don't live over there so um, yeah um, and I have to finish off that I have gotten quite a few comments from other Swedish stitchers and floss tubers and owners from uh, uh it's uh, a place that has uh, some mirabilias where I've bought some stuff from er before so it was it's, it's so it's it's a bit special when you get comments from people in your country and you you feel like you're not the only one in Sweden who's who stitches heaven and earth and mirrors and all this and who goes all bananas uh, over cross stitching so it's very nice and hopefully uh, I will get some uh, stitchy friends that uh, yeah uh, will keep contact absolutely I hope so and uh, I just want to tell you I really appreciate uh, your comments I appreciate all comments of course um, and all the new subscribers and the old ones so thank you thank you very much I love you all so I will leave you at that and wish you a happy stitchy week and uh, we will talk Saturday again I'm not sure I will do a stitch and chat this week uh, maybe I will do that um, um, recording of all my heaven and earth patterns maybe I know some of you would like to see that so take care stay safe wash your hands and keep your distance and for those who needs to wear a mask do that bye <laughs>